Hey, it's Barry. And Dave. And John. Here with another episode of Hooked on Saltwater. Now, the first question you're probably asking is, who the heck is this guy? <laughs> this, this is an unfamiliar face. And as we promised at the beginning of 2022, yep, yep, yep. new faces, all new right, places, right. doing all kind of cool stuff. So, right. Dave, why don't you uh, introduce uh, Mr. John here, Captain hey, John. We are super stoked to bring on board Captain John. I'm from stoked Saltwater, to be here, guys. <laughs> Saltwater Cartel Charters. He is joining the Hooked on Saltwater um, team. Yep. He's going to do most of our offshore um, reporting, rig ups, tips, and he will we'll be filming from his boat right here, which is super cool. Yep. Sometimes from the shop, we're gonna do some on water stuff with him. It's gonna really, really pump to, uh, to, to fish with him and put you guys, show you what we're doing and video it. I'm excited. Yeah, me excited. too. It's going to be a complete education for you guys. Yep. You know, if you're just yep. getting yep. into getting offshore, Captain John's had years and years and years of experience out there. So when you have somebody like John who can explain how to, you know, rig up certain baits for certain fish, or you know what you're looking for when you're out there, or how to maybe read your electronics, different things that we can bring to you, it's you know valuable information. So definitely hit that subscribe button down below, um, like the channel, share it. And definitely stay tuned because we got some super cool stuff coming up. So, and it, for, for some of you who are wondering where we, we yeah. are, we are, or John is based out of Blue Point Marina. Yep. We're sitting in the water, and that's in Port Canaveral, Florida. Yep. And John has a pro team that works with him, too. So, they, they run the boat. So, John's going to, let's just jump right in and give a little breakdown. Uh, yeah. um, I'm going, going to the camera. You going to the camera? Bye. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is just kind of break it down a little bit. How long you been around the area? Let's start, well, wait, not even area. How long you been fishing? I've been fishing since I could walk. Okay. <laughs> My uncles had me out fishing the canyons in New Jersey since I was five years old. Okay. So I've been on the, the water in the Atlantic from as far as I can remember. Gotcha. Uh, I've been in this area about nine years now. Right. Uh, fishing out of this marina for the, the same nine years. Okay. Uh, originally from South Florida. Uh, so I moved up here for my air conditioning company, uh, which I sold, and now I'm doing this full time. Full time, yeah, and doing great at it too. Yeah. John does very good as far as getting guests out here, and he goes that extra mile, folks. So um, as we're talking about what you do and things like that, I'm going to go ahead and interject a little bit. A few of those things that are maybe unexpected. You know, a lot of the captains, we'll, we'll get into that as we move along, the unexpected things that you do that, that really make the trip a different thing. It's going to set us apart. It yeah, sets right. us apart. So let's start with, okay, so you, your main focus is offshore. Correct. Let's talk about species. What do you kind of go after? We try to tailor our trips to the customer. If they want to go out and catch mahi, we're going to go okay. out and catch a mahi. If they want to bottom drop, we'll go out and we'll bottom drop. If they want to go deep drop with uh, our electric uh, equipment, we'll go out and deep drop with that. All right. Um, we run tuna trips to the other side. If you don't know what that is, it's a 100 mile buoy out, outside of uh, Port Canaveral here. It's a fun trip. Early trip, late trip. You know, we, mm -hmm. we leave early, get back late. Gotcha. Um, usually load the boat up with a lot of yellowfin tuna, blackfin tuna. Oh. Monster mahi. Woo. We're swimming around out there. Right. You know, last time we went out, we got 10 tuna, 10 yellowfin, um, three blackfin, and a 70 pound uh, wahoo. Nice. So, you know, that's, that's that's a pretty decent trip. That's a <laughs> lot of meat <laughs> for the grill, for tacos, for you name it. Fantastic. Okay, and then you also, the one other thing, well, that may have fit into what you just said, but I know you're really hot on this. Yeah, uh, slow pitch jigging. Slow pitch jigging. We do slow pitch jig charters. Um, I don't know many customers uh, or, or charters that do, uh, do that around here. But uh, it's once you do it once, you'll get hooked. <laughs> you want to keep it's fun. It's right. a lot of fun. Okay, great. It's something that just about, you know, even from somebody who's younger, yeah. can handle it because the rods are smaller. Yeah. They're super small, that. super, Take super easy to work with. Yeah. Um, it, the, the rod and the reel do most of the most, most of the, the work. You can't high stick them. Yep. Um, oh, I hooked myself here. Uh, so you're pretty much fighting the fish like this the whole time. Yeah. You know, you can come up a little bit. But it's mostly real. You, know? okay. you just wear the fish out, bring them up. Good. So that makes it really nice. Not that kids, the younger kids can't handle the other rods, productive. but it does make it, right, exactly. It's a nice way for younger folks to get into fishing offshore, learn how to do it, have a lot of fun, especially if they're coming in from out of town. Yeah. They just want to get Absolutely. out, you know, and have a great time on the water. If they're not hitting dead baits or live baits, they're hitting That's the chance. way to go. Okay. We're going to cover that in the future in depth. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Yep. We're going to do a whole episode just on 
slow on pitch. The slow pitch jig in there. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the boat. What are we standing it's on a here? 35 Donzi uh, ZF fast boat. Um, it's been up to 70. It gets squirrely at say I, I get squirrely at 70. Let me put it. In. I get scared at 70. But just so you know, that's not John's or his crew that runs the boat. No. That's not their typical speed. No, they that, run. That was that was the test drive <laughs> on the boat. It, right. So <laughs> yeah, what do you so what are you powered up with? We got uh, Donzi and we're powered with three uh, 300 Suzuki's. Three 300s. Okay. And for those folks. I'm going to kind of keep talking to the folks that maybe are coming in from Orlando or coming, I mean, coming into Orlando or coming from outside of this specific area. If, you, if you're wondering, hey, is it, you know, you know, going offshore is kind of a big deal, right? Because yeah. you can't see land, right? So having triple motors is kind of a big deal it's because if still. one goes down, right, you still got two more to get right. back. So that's extra, you know, like you said, security, you know, right. you're coming home. You go out, you're coming home. Plus, uh, we have CETO, and they'll come out and CETO, get us to right? wherever we're at. So and you're, you're all safe. the electronics, so you know where you're yeah. going, and, and the whole radar, nine yards. Radar, sonar, uh, Seymour maps, you know, it's the boat's ready to go. Ready to it's go, ready right. to fish. And it's been fish. <laughs> it's, it's been, been doing fished. extremely well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Captain John, so here's the big question. When somebody books a trip with you, what can they expect when they get here to the port? And they're going to step aboard the boat. It starts uh, go from there. either on the website or, or the phone call. Okay. Um, and what sets us apart from most charters, uh, we provide lunch, we provide drinks. Um, everybody on the boat that gets booked gets saltwater cartel gear, shirts. Nice. Uh, you get a buff. Oop. You get a saltwater cartel buff. A pair of polarized sunglasses and a saltwater cartel bag to carry it all. Oh, sweet! Uh, so, when you call or or there's a there's a link in, in the in the website, um, you let us know what you want to eat for lunch that day, what kind of drinks you like, Coke, Pepsi, mm -hmm. Gatorade, water, whatever. It's on the boat when you get here. Your bags are on the boat when you get here. Um, usually during a trip, we'll have a little little tournament. Biggest fish gets a nice prize, maybe a pair of Costa sunglasses, uh, Yeti cup, uh, yeah, whatever, yeah. Uh, whatever we have, whatever the prize is that yeah. week. Um, and then obviously the smallest fish is going to get a prize. It's not going to be the kind of prize you want, yeah, but you're going to get a prize. I'll take um, a little one for a good cool prize. It's all good. <laughs> we offer uh, pictures and video. We have uh, drone footage if you want. Okay. Um, of you fighting any fish, uh, everybody gets to leave with pictures of the fish they catch. Nice. We have a there's a nice board over here. We hang everything up. Okay, get all your pictures taken with the fish that you caught. Very cool. Okay, so they've come on board now. Now you've already got them jacked up because all the cool gear that they're going to get just to get going. So what type of rods and reel setups do you have? What's um, your rig ups here? You know, just kind of walk well, through a up couple. Up here of we them, have so. spinners and see, generally. Our spinners are rigged depending on what we're going to do. We always have a cobia rig because you never know when a cobia is going to uh, swim up. Okay. And we always have a chugger. Um, and then we'll have uh, three or four, uh, usually four extra spinners rigged up for live baits. And then we have, if we want to go out and kingfish, yep. we have, this is my favorite kingfish rig. Okay. Uh, a lot of people, you know, like stinger rigs, we have stinger rigs rigged up too. Okay. Um, so. Depending on we're 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 ready for whatever's going to swim up or whatever you guys you know want to go catch at yeah, that right. time. Okay, you know, good. Yeah, so. so you're as versatile as it gets. Yeah, whatever. Like you said, Absolutely. I think you stressed that from the beginning. It's pretty much what you want as a customer. You know, it's not basically jump on a boat and you're kind of stuck with whatever the captain or your crew's taking out and taking people out. Of. I do try to get everybody to slow pitch jig at least once. Uh. Just, just to try it. <laughs> at least one time. Yeah, yeah. No, so. that's very cool. Yeah, introducing people to something new and. I don't believe you probably get too much pushback no, on that, especially, no, especially the first time when somebody they see hooks that rod bend over the first yep. time. That's probably all they want to do. <laughs> all right. Okay, John, just to finish up, the obvious question is, I want to book a trip. How do I get a hold of you? Uh, you can Actually, call I us. I did because I'm here. But. <laughs> on this number right, right. here, 321-591-4623. Or you can go on the web and find us at uh, saltwatercartel.com. Nice. Or reach out to Dave or I, and we'll be able to get you hooked up with John and his crew. Awesome guys. He's got two guys that work with him that are top pros. I'm not going to tell you who they are. It'll be a surprise when you get on the boat. That's sure right. Everybody knows them. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the folks might not. When they find out, they're, it makes it even that much more special. That's for sure. So, uh, yeah, definitely looking forward. So, you're looking for that offshore trip. Want to have a blast. 
hook up with John, and we will see you guys in the next video.